Welcome to GW. My name's Paul. I'm one of the reference librarians at the Himmelfarb Library. When you want to use the library website from a computer in the hospital, on the GW intranet page, if you scroll down to the bottom on the right side, you'll see a link that says Electronic Resources Himmelfarb Library. Click that. From home, you can go to the library website himmelfarb.gwu.edu. Most of what you need is going to be linked under popular resources on the left side of the page. There's a, a link to an A to Z list of our databases, our journals, and e-texts. When you click any of our links, you will be prompted to sign in with your GW net ID and password. That was issued to you. That's the first part of your GW email address before the at sign and your email password. And then you should be taken into the resource. Some of our point of care tools you can access through the library website or there are app versions you can access from your phone. From the library website, if you scroll to the bottom and look for the sort of multicolored symbol on the right side, then that's our link to our app shelf. Or follow this link, himmelfarb.gwu.edu forward slash apps. Find the tool you want to download, for example, Dynamed, and follow the instructions for installing it on your device. When you do research from PubMed, I strongly recommend clicking the link to PubMed from the library website so that you see our GW full text links. There are quick filters on the left side, or if you scroll further down to article type, you can narrow down and scroll a little further and click the button marked additional filters to select more article types. From a PubMed record, you'd be looking for the blue box marked Find It at Himmelfarb on the right side and click that. You'll see a pop-up where you'll be prompted to sign in with your net ID again and then you'll be taken through to the article. If when you click that link there is no full text subscription to that journal, you can order a copy of the article to be emailed to you. You will see a pop-up box with a link to request via our documents to go into library loan form. Click that link and fill in the form for the article that you want. It usually takes at least two to three business days and there's no charge for the first 15 articles that you can request. Some of our resources include Clinical Key lets you search over several different textbooks. The, one of the advantages with Clinical Key is if you read a book chapter, you'll see a link to be able to download the PDF of that book chapter for offline reading later. If you want to keep up with your specialty, I recommend going to Journal Watch, which will be on our databases A to Z list and you can set up an alert to receive the table of contents of your favorite journals or um, by specialty. But an alternative would be there is a app you can download to a tablet or phone called Browsine and you can add individual journal titles to that and it acts like a virtual bookshelf and you can see the tables of contents of new issues. The IT department here at the university encourages you to store regulated data in an application called GW Box. The Himmelfarb Library provides a repository for storing your posters or papers or data sets. And we also provide research guides on various topics, including scholarly publishing, infographics visualization, data management planning, all manner of subjects. Our library repository is called the Health Sciences Research Commons. 
you can browse by author or keywords. You can archive a copy of your posters and articles. You can see what your colleagues are working on. GW has a very good poster shop. It's in the basement of the Ross Hall building. And if you go to the Office of Communications uh, website or email medphoto at gwu.edu, they have their price lists and templates for posters that you can download. The Himmelfarb Library has a publishing discount with Biomed Central. Individual article processing charges are typically waived if you're publishing in a journal but signing over copyright to your journal articles to the publisher. If you want to publish in an open access journal, then these article processing charges vary but they can be as expensive as $3,000. Often this is budgeted for in a grant, so you can ask your principal investigator. But if you have to pay yourself or you wish to exercise an open access option, you can publish in any of the journals that are part of Biomed Central with a 15% discount. Contact my colleague Ruth Buter at rbuter at gw.edu. If you don't have a professional society meeting coming up at which to present a poster, you might also consider publishing a case report in the journal BMJ Case Reports. This is free for GW residents because the Himmelfarb Library has paid for an institutional fellowship. Contact my colleague Ruth Beauty to get the code or instructions for how to submit your manuscript. This is a good first publication because you don't need to set up a research study or obtain IRB approval. You or your colleagues can write up an article based on a patient that you're seeing. If you have any questions about any of our library resources, feel free to contact us. We do have designated librarians that liaise with the different departments in the School of Medicine and Health Sciences. Or just contact himmelfarb at gwu.edu. Here are some of the links to some of the resources I described in this presentation. Thank you for your attention. Good luck.